Hi guys, Miss McKittrick here. Um, for those of you guys that weren't in class today or need a little bit of a review, I am going to use our skeleton friends here to talk through some of the observations and inferences about um, primate skeletons. So we're using our chimpanzee skeleton and comparing it to our human skeleton. So I'm going to, this video is gonna talk about the skull region and everything in the skull region that is different between the two. You can follow along. I'm going in the same order as your notes, which are posted in Google Classroom. Okay, first thing I'm gonna point out is at the top in the skull, the brain case. This right here is the brain case. Notice how large the brain case is for humans and how tiny the brain case is for chimpanzees. Okay, trying to get them as close as possible to kind of give you a sense Humans, large brain case, chimps, small. That is because we infer that humans have a larger brain and chimps have a smaller brain. Looking at the jaws, the jaws, okay? If you look at the jaws of a humans, this right here, um, our jaw is much smaller. And if you look at our face, our face is very flat. The jaw muscles are much bigger on a chimpanzee and their jaws stick out. Their face is not flat. They have this snout-like appearance here, kind of like a dog. This is called prognathism, prognathism, that snout-like appearance, okay? And that is because they, chimpanzees have much bigger jaw muscles. They spend more of their day eating. We cook our food, our food is nice and soft, so our jaws are actually really small. So if you look here, the top part of your jaw is called the maxilla. The lower is the mandible. Ours is much smaller. See how big this area is? And that's because we have less jaw muscles that need to attach to our skull bones. Talking about the eyes, the eye sockets. If you look at the eye sockets for humans, how deep the eye sockets go, our eye sockets are very shallow. That means our eyes do not sit as deep into our heads. If you look over here at the chimps, their eye socket goes much deeper. My finger goes in a lot further. Their eyes sit deeper in their heads. How does that make a difference? We have better peripheral vision. We can see better on the sides. If something is coming in from the side, we can see better because our eyes are not as deeply set in our heads as they are in a chimpanzee's heads. Looking at our teeth, okay? These very, very, very large teeth are called canines. They are much bigger in other primates like chimpanzees. They're used to tear or shred their food and as a sign of defense or protection. If you look at humans, our canines are very, very small and not sharp at all. Once again, that's because we cook our food or tear it up with our hands or tools and we do not use, need to use our canine teeth for defense. Okay, I'm gonna bring in a third skull for the next part, which is called the sagittal crest, okay? This is a gorilla skull. I'm just gonna put it right here to help me out. This large fin-like structure is called the sagittal crest. It's very big in gorillas. It's slightly there in our chimpanzees, but humans, the top of our skull is very flat. We do not have any sagittal crest at all. What this crest is used for is to attach jaw muscles. Uh, gorillas, chimpanzees, they have much bigger jaw muscles. They spend more of their day eating. We do not, we do not have a sagittal crest. Once again, our food is much softer because we cook it. We do not need a giant sagittal crest on top of our heads. Um, talking about the eyes for one more second, this bone, which is very large, on chimpanzees, it's called your brow ridge. It's a very, very large on gorillas, and it is non-existent pretty much on humans. That once again has to do with how deep your eyes set in your head. It also has to do with protection. So if something came and hit us in the face, our skull is right there to kind of protect our brain and protect our eyes. If you look at the chimpanzee, if something came in here, their skull is further back, so that brow ridge serves as a form of protection but also limits chimpanzees' peripheral vision. We have really good peripheral vision, they do not. Final thing I'm gonna talk about is our cheekbones. Humans have very high defined cheekbones. High defined cheekbones, 
and our faces are really flat and to a degree, not so much in this one, but you can see a little bit, our chins are protruding out. They kind of stick out a little bit, protruding chin versus in a chimpanzee, they do not have as high a cheekbones and their chins actually go backwards. They were like recede. Um, that once again has to do with the attachment of jaw muscles, attachment of jaw muscles. We have far fewer jaw muscles. We do not spend our days eating. Chimpanzees have to spend a lot of their day chewing up their food, softening their food and eating their food. So we have a very different jaw setup. So that kind of covers most of the head and skull. I'll cover the rest in the next video. Make sure you get those notes taken down.